Hey everyone, wanted to just uh, share with you uh, some of the ivory sabenza that I've collect sabenzas that I've collected over the years. Um, I really enjoy these knives. These are probably some of the highlights of my collection, and wanted to share them with you. Um, right here is a classic ivory. It's the creamy ivory, interior ivory. See some of the green on there. This is a double th uh, thumb log. It's also had it, it's added has the lanyard pin added later on. Next up is the large regular annual edition. This is a 2003. Originally was a redwood burl, but was uh, sent back to CRK and had ivory creamy mammoth ivory put inside. Probably the smoothest Sabenza that I own. Unbelievably smooth. Here's a little brother of that. This is a 2008 creamy ivory. You'll get you'll you'll get some uh, some different coloration as the ivory as you use ivory it will it will uh, yellow a little bit which I think is, is good, kind of a patina. This one needs to be lubed up. I need to break this one down. It's a little stiff. And here's the classic, the little brother of the classic up top. This one has a little bit uh, more character in the ivory. Not completely white, has a few uh, tan streaks running through it but beautiful nonetheless something special about having a a massive animal that once roamed this earth one of God's creations unbelievable the mammoth would have loved to seen seen it running around it's kind of neat to have part of it in the collection Here's some of the bark bark ivory. Now, bark ivory, as a lot of you know, is the outer the outer uh, material of the ivory. Uh, when it's buried, it 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 gets a lot of the character, a lot of the minerals and whatever whatever the fossil the fossilization in the ivory when it's buried deep into the uh, the ice. And they uncover it. You get a little more character. You get the streaks. You get some cracks. You get a lot of different uh, colorization. This one, I, I really enjoy this one. You'll get blues a lot and greens in some of some of the bark ivory. A lot of character. Here's the last uh, last one I have. Now this is a real special one. This is probably the most special. This has a, a lot of dark, got some some grays and blues in there. This one has a Kevin um, Devin Thomas uh, ladder Damascus dual lug. Dad, Dad, look. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Good job. Magic. What do you think of the Sabenzas? You like them? Are you talking to that guy? I'm talking to a lot of guys and gals. Gals? Which gals? Gals. There's gals that collect knives too. Ask La Santica. She has an amazing Ow. Sabenza collection. Ow. This one has no uh, Idaho made stamp. This is pre, this is a 21. This is a nice one. Funny story about this is I, uh, I went or I saw this online at a, at a popular knife uh, online dealer, and really liked it. And uh, waited too long, and it was gone. Uh, flash forward two years later, 
Um, I find it again. It's been through a couple different people's hands and finally was able to pick the, the knife. I didn't know it was that exact knife because I copied the photo originally and, and put it onto my desktop of my computer. And then later on, after I bought it, I went back and found the photo and, and it turned out it was the exact same knife that I had wanted in the first place. Kind of neat. Anyway, there they are. Um, why do I why do I why do I buy knives like this? Um, well, I personally, I, for the most part, knives in general are not a good investment. <laughs> um, they don't usually go up in value a whole lot, but some do. And these are ones that that have, um, especially these. Now that they're discontinuing the annuals, um, those will keep its value quite well. And and uh, in general, they're they're going to keep their value. You know, they're not making any more uh, mammoth animals I think they're extinct and um, so that supply is going to be gone pretty soon so um, I think these are a, a good opportunity to, to hold on and if I need to sell them I will and um, but but I, I really enjoy them so I'm gonna keep them and and uh, and pass them down to uh, to you guys do you like you guys want to have these knives later on right down the road yeah all right all right guys take it easy thanks for watching